Equity markets around the world are at or near record highs. The S&P 500, although it's come off uh, a bit in the past few days because of concerns around the, the, the lifting of the debt ceiling, is still at very rarefied levels compared to was what it was a year or so ago. Having said that, it is still only marginally above where it was in the year 2000. So in other words, in the past 13 years, it's gone virtually nowhere, and in real terms, it's actually gone backwards. As far as our local market's concerned, we are at or near record highs. Uh, but much of that growth has been driven by two things. One, the extremely weak rand, uh, and secondly, the abundance of, of cheap money, which is flowing around the world. We took a bit of a, a scare back in May and June when Ben Bernanke said that he was going to introduce so-called tapering, i.e. a gradual reduction in quantitative easing. Um, but since then, we've, 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 we've clawed our way back, and as I say, the weak rand has helped push us to new highs. So we have a situation where the valuation of our markets is, is very, very high indeed, historically, and yet the economic fundamentals, both here and in the U.S., are not particularly inspiring. U.S. unlikely to do much more than maybe 2% next year. Uh, corporate earnings growth, while looking better, it looks like it's turning, isn't, in my opinion, going to be anything dramatic in next year. So that fundamental driver, I don't think, is going to be there. Locally, we're looking at an ec economy of uh, probably around about 2%, maybe 2.5% next year. So again, nothing to get too excited about. So the gulf between, and it is a yawning gulf between the, uh, the, the, the rating of the market, the, the PE rating currently around about 18 times, and the underlying fundamentals, the economic, economic growth, is still, it's unlikely to, to, to narrow considerably in any sort of reasonable time frame. And I think that's the big question. How long will that be? Uh, when you had economic growth here of 4 4 4.5%, not a problem. Then the market's probably anticipating nine months to a year out. I think at these levels, we're anticipating significantly longer timescales than that, probably of the order of two, three, four years out, as they are in the U.S. So that's why I say I think there's a degree of vulnerability built into the level of the market. But the, the corrupt philosophy behind all of this, unfortunately, says that um, market participants are likely to keep on pushing markets higher because the alternative, i.e. putting money into interest-bearing securities, where we're looking at 40-year lows in, in South Africa, 300-year lows in the UK, and many decades low in the US, it means that it's not really a viable alternative. So that's why I say the, the corruption in philosophy comes in. So unfortunately, what we have is a situation where um, economic fundamentals are not good, but markets probably will go higher, driven by all the wrong factors. Thank <laughs> you.